Hi everyone, I'm J.D. Hoovener, and welcome to The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor and entrepreneur, get your daily dose of inspiration to help you make the world a better place. Today's President's Day, and it's exciting, right? We've had a lot of news uh, about our President, President Trump, and it's interesting to keep that top of mind and to remember all the presidents that preceded him. So this is a celebration of the leaders of our country. And so the challenge for you today is to think about a president. It could be the one that's in office today, uh, but any president that's really inspired you, and I want you to pick one and put that in the comments below about what it is that inspires uh, you. Well, what is it that they've done or the change they've made to our country or the world that uh, has put you in a really good position? So today's invention of the day is a little silly, but I wanted to show you that almost anything innovative can be patented. So today, if any of you, and I'm sure a lot of listeners remember the year 2000 election, Al Gore and Bush, right? The big competition and all the hanging chads and the big controversy around the voting in Florida. So this wheel was actually designed It's part of a game. It's a design patent that shows uh, the different potential outcomes, right? You know, Al Gore, Jed Bush, you know, some sort of different controversies that existed in, in the year 2000. This patent got issued, unbelievably. Uh, and whether it was monetized or not, it's kind of, a, you know, to me it was really fascinating to see that there's a, a presidential design patent game out there. So have a look at this. Uh, this is really unique. Um, what I want to mention, mention as well, as far as the law goes, uh, in our design patent statute, 35 U.S.C. 171, this is, the, uh, this is the part of the statute that talks about the difference between a utility and a design patent. A utility patent, as I've talked about before, requires novelty, non-obviousness, and utility, or usefulness. Well, the usefulness aspect is not in the design aspect of the statute. So what it's included is novelty and non-obviousness, but instead um, has to be ornamental. Right? It has to have design aspects, right? three-dimensional uh, observances, things that you can see, touch, and feel, and are able to be drawn. So this is the third requirement for design is aesthetics. For you today, your challenge was to figure out what president right, was your favorite. Uh, I encourage you to share this video with one of your friends and ask them what their favorite president was of all time. And it might be enlightening to find out what inspires them, uh, what president from history really moved them forward and that they, they respect. Everyone have a wonderful day today and thank you for tuning in to the Bold Today Show. Go big, go bold. Go big, go bold at boldip.com.